The Republican hasn't held the office of governor in Oregon since the 1980s in Vicatia. Mm -hmm. And th this was a, a left-leaning race, but has now gone to a toss-up. So let's go to our Gabrielle Carroll, who's covering the Bueller campaign. She joins us live from his watch party. Gabrielle. Hey, Dan and Jennifer. Yeah, we're here at the Sentinel Hotel where New Bueller's campaign is getting ready for what is expected to be a tight race and therefore a very long night here. They're expecting about 600 people. Those are the RSVPs for tonight's events. That includes prominent Republicans, including the chair and the vice chair of the Republican Party here. Uh, that also includes supporters and family. The candidate right now is actually having dinner with his wife and his two children. They will be here tonight. They're expected around 7 to 8 p.m. And the campaign tells me that he is upbeat, optimistic, and really excited about today. He's very enthusiastic about the high turnout. Uh, he spent the day in the Tri-County area getting out the vote, talking to voters. And then he spent the afternoon calling his supporters and thanking them. Again, this is expected to be a very, very tight race. Uh, the campaign tells me they've spoken to many Democrats who say that this is the first time they're voting for a Republican uh, because he's more moderate than many of the Republican candidates across the country. He's been running on a pro-choice campaign. We've seen that in the ads that have just blanketed the airwaves over the past few weeks. And again, they think it's going to be a very tight race. They're not thinking that there's going to be a clear winner early in the evening. So everyone's getting ready here. There's a lot of optimism in the air from the campaign who's all setting up here. And again, we're expecting the candidate around 7 to 8 p.m. tonight. So we will bring you all the updates here at the Sentinel Hotel. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, tweet at us. We'll be looking for those questions and we'll try to get you answers as we're covering the governor's race here in the Sentinel Hotel, live in downtown Portland. Gabrielle Carroll, Coin 6 News. Back to you.